YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil, coming through with another sneaker review today, another sneaker opinion as well. And I actually have the Nike Air Flight 89 right here. Um, y'all know what I do on my videos, guys. Thanks for everybody that's been rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody's been looking at my past videos, all that stuff, guys. I definitely appreciate it. Go check out my past videos as well. Um, you know. Let's see how many I can knock out. <laughs> but no, I haven't. Y'all, y'all, y'all guys know I like to um, set time aside to do my kicks. You know what I mean? I don't. I kind of. You know, when I do them, I want to do them all in one wop versus doing them sporadically. Kind of like, you know what I mean? I want to have more of that. You know, when I'm into it. You know what I mean? Also, too, I also want you guys to know that I actually wear the sneakers before I review them, too. And then, you know, I do a nice little wipe down, make sure they're clean or whatever. So when I show them to you guys, they look a little bit better. Um, but, yeah. So, y'all know what I do. I actually go over the overview of the shoe and review on the materials. Then I get my opinion, my ranking, and my rating, all that stuff. And, yeah. Now, in case it matters, I got the Air Flight 89 LE. I'm going to just show the box right here. This is the 2020 version. They also dropped one of these in 2012, roughly, 2011. Now, I actually wanted these sneakers bad, okay? Like, by the time I, I came around to getting these, like, I, I should have picked up on it when it was like $77, $80, something like that. They was going for a sale back then, guys. Uh, uh, you know, they slightly switched these out now. As far as the, the, the tongue go with like this black mesh, not too many people reviewing the 2020 versions of the Flight 89s all like that. You probably got just barely a hand few, and especially from more like the elite sneaker YouTubers, but a small channel like mine, y'all know I'm going to get to it. I'm going to give y'all the full-blown rundown. I like those other guys' reviews too. They definitely got the fire flame on foot and all that stuff, so definitely go check those out because the it's a, it's a big difference between the 2020 version and uh 2012 version now i do have a pair of air flight 89s right here i'm gonna do a comparison with guys y'all know how i like to do it i like to do the comparisons i like to do the all that stuff and i it might not be the same color but it's the same kind of like material like leather leather da 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 and we can see a difference we can see the difference between the 2012 version and the uh 2020 version so first uh first thing first um of course, you got the Air Flight 89, came out in 1989. I'm going to just zoom up a little bit because I know my camera's just kind of bright with the white so in here. Change my filter up a little bit just so you guys can actually see that, uh, you know, actually see the sneaker. Sometimes, man, my, my whites used to be so damn bright on my camera. You know what I mean? Even though I don't got the best camera, I'm going to do what I can do at the moment to uh, uh, show you guys how the sneaker actually look in person. Then you can actually get a better description from me. So first thing first, you guys already see the all white panel was just an all white, stiff, very kind of like stiff like leather with very little give to it. Kind of remind me of the 2013 Jordan 5, uh, you pick one, um, but it might be just slightly, just slightly a little bit more, uh, slightly a little bit more softer. But other than that, it's, it's, it's basically that. If you was into the sneaker game back then or you got one of those retros from back then, that's what basically this leather feels like. Um, it's one of them leathers that you're going to definitely have to break in to actually uh, uh, to get the best quality out of it. I mean, to get the best fit. Um, now, I know these things is more so like tanks and a lot of, you know, a little bit more of the old school guys might be looking at this review versus, you know, more like the young guys or whatever. Um, you know, uh, this the Air Flight 89 actually came out in, uh, obviously already came out in 89, but it came out before the Jordan 4. And I only just got one review of this on my channel, and that is of these black ones right here that I'm going to do the comparison to as far as leather. Um, and obviously you guys see the red on here. I don't want to call it cherry red, but in camera it does look kind of cherry red a little bit. It's not necessarily fire red neither, but university red. Going along the back, we do got the Air Flight upside down, which is reminiscent of the Jordan 4. Also, too, going to the insole, you do have the white insole with the Nike Air on the inside. Going to the top, one of my favorite parts of the sneakers, actually, the Curse of Air Flight. This is definitely one of the nicer fonts that Nike actually uses. Y'all know me, man. I like the River Dirty font that Nike does, and I also like the uh, Air Flight 89 font. 
So I, I know I mentioned that in that video, in that River Dirty video, one of those colorways that I actually like that font and this font. So yeah, give me a sneaker Nike. We're going to curse of it up. We're going to River Dirty the font up and all that stuff. Going to the back though, we also got a, a tough, uh, spongy kind of like nylon on the back or no, not nylon. Sorry about that. Um, um, a tough mesh that really doesn't give. You also got that around the sock liner. Um, black embroidery on the back the feel of the swoosh on here guys is definitely still tough like the rest of the white leather you do got the embroidery this is embroidery this is not a leather red strip this is an embroidery right here going along the um side of the sneaker and uh that was actually on the sneakers back then and also on the 2012 version now the only difference with this one Looking at Nightwing video, aka Wear Testers, he did say the tongue on this actually gets pretty yellow. Um, so that's actually pretty good that they made it black. Um, you know, I wish I could have actually got the uh, the the 2012 version of this just so I can see that. You know, I can I can get it. You know, I can believe it that it turned yellow. This too, this is going to turn yellow as well. Same thing that um, happened to the Military Blue Four. If I can. Um, get those so you know we could just basically uh, it's a complete comparison you know if you could see the difference you see that like that off-white vintage yellow look out light colorway you know believe it or not the military blue four used to be about as the rubber cap used to be about white like this but and, and you know over time Eight years later after wearing a military blue four watch my lived in series when I also did this too. I actually go over the you know the effects in this after wearing this sneaker for that long what happens on a day of and, and and how long it took to break in and everything and what happens to the sneaker literally and then you get to know too if the craftsmanship was good on certain pairs from 22 versus I mean from 2012 uh, versus today or something like that so um, just real quick the military blue force from 2012 was built craftsmanship better uh was better built than the fire Red force from then so um so you know i'm happy jordan brand is, is is uh i'm happy jordan brand is definitely um remastering or reissuing these shoes out the way they're supposed to be master or whatever um like the white cement fours and all that like you know but enough of that though it's about the flight 89 you know i think the flight 89 really don't too much get its respect that it needs um i've also seen they also did a nice bread four like colorway with the uh air flight 89 years ago those look fly too this sneaker actually stands on its own when anybody this in this sneaker probably don't know about the sneaker i'm not talking about quality wise but i'm talking about legacy wise and history wise reggie miller rocked these and pippen definitely rocked these pippen actually had this colorway now again he has then had a black tongue in the middle but he has had the white tongue they got pictures of it and stuff just google it guys a little bit of everybody in the nba was rocking these joints right here so this was definitely go to this was definitely the go-to sneaker in 1989 definitely worth it going to the Going to the bottom right here, um, you guys already see, still had a Jordan 4S kind of like makeup. Um, but this is one of the things, man, I was reading the comments. The guy that was uh, uh, living back then or was like a kid, you know, I was I was still in the in the bassinet and all that stuff, guys. So, you know, and, you know, I didn't know, right? But he actually said that the Air Flight 89s, at least at that time, people wanted these more than the Jordan 4s. And they was looking at the Jordan 4s like, man, why is the Jordan 4s ripping off the Flight 89s? You know what I mean? Ain't it crazy? Because now the game is so flipped that people, a regular, you know, young guy from like this age or whatever, 20 years old or something like that, might look at these and be like, man, those look like the Jordan 4. And they might try to save poor man 4. So it's like, you know, that's kind of offensive not knowing the legacy or the heritage of this model. You know what I mean? So you got to check yourself, man, before you get to saying stuff you don't know what, you, what you're what talking about. You know what I mean? So that's kind of like, that's kind of like uh, this in the Air Max 1 when I was kind of like one of the first sneakers to show the air bubble. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know. But enough of the, of the review part. Now, as far as walking and comfort in this, one of the things though guys this is one of the things where it just crashed so hard on this man 
Now, when I do my walkthroughs with a sneaker, I usually go from 24 hours to 48 hours so I can at least get to get the review out for you guys. You know, I could go a whole week and have a lot more data for you guys, but I'd rather just do a whole lived in series like I've been doing already. I need to categorize those in playlists so you guys can see those. And thanks for everybody. Thanks for everybody that's been watching those too. I thought people wasn't going to really care, but somebody care to see what the sneakers look like after you wear them which i think is very important you know we get some new sneakers all the damn time like what about what happened to these sneakers one week later two weeks later a whole month later six months later years later you see what i'm saying like it's so much that happened to a sneaker and i appreciate every you sneaker youtuber that does those things uh the foamer the the, the hairs kicks that i can name off the top of my head that do those you know, it's, it's cool to look at a sneaker in a box, but you really won't know what you're working with with a sneaker and see if you really got your money worth until you start wearing them around for long periods of time. Now, you also, too, at least in my case, being on YouTube like how I am now, you also got people that buy one or two, three kicks a year, so they looking for something to last for the long haul. I get that, too. But enough of that. So, the the insole and the sole on here was 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 great. I mean, for a sneaker from 1989, I would give just the insole. Like, if they, if you just took off the whole upper, right? I would give this. I would give this a seven. Like, if you just took the whole upper off and they just made this like some gel plastic or whatever, just this bottom, the midsole and the actual insole is actually a seven. That's not bad. It's not bad. Also, to make sure you wear comfortable socks too, guys. Some socks, some socks are a little bit more stuffy. I just put on some thin socks to wear some of my other sneakers too. You do got a little bit more room, obviously, because the 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 the, the cotton other sock. Now I rock Hanes all day, the Hanes socks. So that's what I'm basing mine off of. Just recently got, um, I just finally started wearing rather some of these Ralph Lauren socks. So those are a little bit more thin and more silky like in a way. Um, and uh, these, you know, putting. Rocking, rocking polo socks with like these or something like that is almost a complete difference versus wearing a hang sock. But the comfort is still there. Now the terrible part, the bad part. Now after I hyped all up this sneaker and the legacy and everything, there is definitely a down part. And this is where I've also mentioned too in previous videos where quality does matter. The quality does matter because when you walk in these sneakers and the whole upper is made like this with this stiffness, it would actually hurt your foot. Now, it all depends on the sizing that you get. It all depends on how your foot is shaped too. Some guys experience pinky rub. Some guys experience uh, uh, sharpness right here or sharpness at the angle on the, on the corners right here. Um, you know, it, 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 it depends, man. It really depends. But overall, that I can agree with um with a few others if you're looking for quality you're gonna definitely be disappointed with this sneaker only person per, like really picking these sneakers up is either because they won on a budget or two um these nostalgic areas or maybe just three maybe somebody just really really feeling these sneakers you know what i mean like me um now i'm, I'm also into the whole history and stuff like that so i would have picked these up if these was even more stiffer you know what i mean but it just would have been a hell of a video i would have been giving y'all like dude bricks that brick like brick bricks like but um, so while this does have that synthetic leather and you got that coat all on the top of it and everything, um, that's really the killer to me, man. I mean, this right here, I think on, uh, it, it was for a while it was hurting, um, right here and you know, and, and the sneaker actually fits, uh, but breaking these in, breaking these sneakers in actually take a lot longer than other sneakers, basically cause this sneaker is actually more older. But um, my rating on this sneaker, though, that I'm giving this as far as like straight out the box comfort, I would give it, again, a seven right here because this midsole, the insole, everything is great. Great, great, great. Upper, they played us, y'all. They played us. And t I remember they had a Nike idea this in like 2012, 2013. Then they had like a great colorway and everything. But yeah. So I give these a seven out of 10 as far as coming straight out the box, as far as like comfort. Overall rating, I'm just so whipped up into this 80s, 90s, retro kind of like vibe that I would actually give these a eight. I mean, these look close to the Jordan 4 anyway. And with these being before the Jordan 4, you gotta at least respect his name. You know what I mean? You gotta respect the, you gotta respect the legend too. This is, it's legends that wore this too. So 
you know, I heard that I, I've heard that Jordan, they intended Jordan to wear the Air Flight series before they came up with the Jordan 4, but I don't know. I'm just hearing things. And I'm also do this little quick comparison before I get up out of here. Just because some of you guys that want to just know the leather and da-da-da. The leather on here is not too far off from this one. Um, now, it could be because I've also worn this one a lot more. Now, this is one I actually got from 2012 or 2013. I got this from the Nike outlets, literally, for 30 bucks over the phone. Yes, 30 bucks over the phone. Back in the good days when you can flip shoes from the Nike outlet and literally make a living. Regular price on these back then was $95. Regular price on these right now is $120. So we got like a $25 increase. So, I mean, um, it's just not the best leather on the 2012 version either. You know, I just want to let you guys know that. You know, it's almost been 10 years, but it's not been that good as far as leather quality. This right here, yeah, they're getting a little bit more stiff. So um overall rating like i said eight out of ten you gotta like that classic look man fly and flames definitely affordable don't disrespect the legends hey them coat followers <laughs> you hey them coat followers of the flight 89 we'll check your ass you, you you come out coming talking crazy about poor man fours and all that stuff man so you better watch it man um um also too man uh overall rating eight out of ten and also too what i also said guys the comfort on this straight out box is 7 out of 10. I think in due time, as far as comfortability, just guessing with my guesstimation, maybe a 7.5 out of 10. Like, the, the, it's only but so comfortable these sneakers are actually going to get. But I will not lie. These actually made it to, uh, uh, as far as the wear and tear on this, ain't no tearing on it. But if I put these on now, these are real comfortable. Um you know, they, they, they started off stiff like these as far as the insole. You know, insole wasn't the best, but they do break in. But you see, it took years. So, um, I probably at most, at the softest, was probably an 8. So, maybe maybe these might go up to an 8 at the best as far as comfort when you wear them for years. Or if you wear them every day, that's even better because you can break them in quicker. So, that's enough of my time today, guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I don't know about doing it on foot. YouTube be acting funny, man, with the on foots. All of a sudden, I don't know. I get flagged for on foots now. I don't know. I'm going to see what I can do. Because I don't see too many 2020 versions on foot. On feet uh, versions. Long-winded. Y'all know what I do. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.